Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about different ways to change class name of a page. So let's get started with the topic. Generally, when we are processing uh, some case or we are processing some work object, there might be a scenario where we need to change class name of a page. Why? Because as we know, there are different layers in the application and uh, while we are playing around the data, we might get a scenario to do a page change class. So there are actually two ways. First is in activity, we can use page change class. So it, it asks with some parameters where we would be giving that. So there is another way. Suppose you are working on a data transform. There you got a situation to do a page change class. Then the only approach or the most frequently used approach is write an activity in that activity uses page change class and uh, invoke that from data transform so instead of doing this or uh, instead of creating this redundant activity only to change the page so page class name we have an OOTB activity that i will be explaining in the video so uh, suppose if you take an activity you use this page change class and you will be passing the new class name data transform key skip bit layer to proceed so these are the parameters to this method. So page change class is actually a method. You can see the history. It creates a new page of the indicated class model and merges the property from the existing into it. So uh, as I promised uh, with a new activity that I have found, that is action change class. So this is the activity action change class. In this activity, it asks for a parameter new class. So if you give that, it will update the class of the work item. It actually does page change class here. So it calls the same method, but this is an OOTP activity, which we can use uh, in a data transform. So in the data transform, you can define this parameter and give this and if you pass this by calling this activity you can do page change class without creating a new activity hope this is helpful for you and you have read a new tip this is also a valid uh, scenario based interview question thanks for watching this video please share subscribe and like the videos 